I'm so excited! Hi, everybody. Uh, what is a fractal vice? It is like the coolest thing ever. Um, originally patented and built in the 1920s by an American company, is it is a set of nested crescents that allows a vice to conform to highly irregular shapes. This is excellent. Uh, a few years ago, I made a die filer and I used some cast iron pieces. And when you, when you make stuff, when you make tools out of cast iron, you're working with castings and those castings often need reference surfaces, flat bottoms, perpendicular edges and things like that. And honestly, when you're working with cast iron pieces, the, the lack of squareness because of the casting can be really difficult to hold onto it properly. You can use wood shims and soft jaws and there's other mitigating strategies, but a fractal vice handles that like in a tremendously great fashion. And Hand Tool Rescue, a fantastic YouTube channel, Hand Tool Rescue, uh, I do watch those guys all the time. They, uh, a while back, they found a fractal vice, an original one, I've never seen them show up on eBay. Uh, I mean, I, I know that they have here and there. I just keep missing them. Anyway, the Hand Tool Rescue took one, which even had a missing jaw and replaced that jaw and brought it back to life. And I, I first caught wind of the Fractal Vice years ago. Years ago, I saw a picture of it. Then Hand Tool Rescue brought it back some, brought in some more information about it. And I, it's known who makes it and all that stuff, but that's not important. What's important is I wanted one of these things and I could not get one. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a jeweler who's got a Kickstarter with a small fractal vice. I'm on the list for that one. There's a Etsy guy who sells a 3D print file for a fractal vice. But I was doing a search and I saw one. So the thing about the internet is you can't just search once and be like, I couldn't find that. You got to go back and search again. And then again, every few weeks, every few months, uh, I get a lot out of that when I go and can search more. So recently, about three and a half, four weeks ago, I came across a fractal vice I had never seen before made out of steel. And it was made by Alibaba or it was purchasable at Alibaba. And it's funny. Yes, we're going to crack this puppy open. Oh my God. This is so exciting. <laughs> Seems like it barely made it here. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, look at that. It's got pins, yeah? yeah. I think we can. Oh, all right. Oh my gosh. What, what magnificence. Oh my gosh, look at that. It just lifts right off. it exactly the same way as the originals. Oh my gosh. Oh, but they don't have any, ah, fascinating. <laughs> I see you. Okay, oh my gosh. Let's crack this open. So, <laughs> all right, that's one way of holding on to that. Fascinating. 
Okay. Ah, you do have a. That's why. All right, I will. Yeah, that's for another day. Fixing that. I think I can bring this all the way down. And there we go. That's nice. Now, okay. All right. I've teased you long enough. Let's um. Let's see it grab something. Oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, here, let's grab it. There it is. So that's, that's what I'm talking about there. The fractal vise will grab all this, most of it. Yeah, it'll grab all this. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it because I set up the shot wrong. Sorry, here we go. I think that there's actually an interesting thing here. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, incredible. Let's see that again. Here, we'll put this hand, oh. There we go. All right. Oh, dude, right? Right? Grabs really nice and, oh, it's not quite. Oh my God, yep. All right, um, full disclosure, I spent more on this than, <laughs> I, sp <laughs> I spent a lot. This was 2,500 bucks uh, shipped from China. Um, and it's meant to, the way, you're, the way you use it, does it actually swivel on that base? Actually, give me just a sec. Maybe I get this on the first try. I do. All right, so I'm gonna loosen that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing. And does this also? Okay. So, um, the way this operates is the these jaws grab irregular things tightly. Got a nice Acme screw thread here to attach it all together. Um, it's a very nicely, it's a nice tolerance all throughout this. Uh, and a couple little issues here and there. Um, so uh, there might end up being a few things that I do on this to refine it. Uh, one, I think that the, uh, it's yeah, method, for, uh, just look at this. Their method for holding, this is a dual, this is a, a, a right hand, left hand Acme thread, right? So it goes one way and the other way so that the jaws can open and close. Um, they're just using two effectively, effective grub screws here. They're like 
M8s or M10s. Um, I may refine that. Uh, this knurled handle for tightening it, not nearly enough. I think I need a little, oop, so that's another project. And then I want to talk about the construction because the original, the original uh, uh, fractal vice is not just a masterpiece of engineering, it's a masterpiece of construction. Uh, and this is made in nearly a, an identical fashion. So each of the semicircles operates the same. It is a, if you can look here, See that? Yeah, it's a dovetail. That's a dovetail. It comes out like that. And that means that there's a matching dovetail here. And they all thread. Now, <laughs> when Hand Tool Rescue fixed theirs, each of the jaw pieces was actually numbered, every single one and which one it went next to. Um, and that's the kind of hazard with uh, construction like this is that it's so specialized. There's no like making one part and then they all just work. Nah, not like that. Um, they don't move quite as smoothly as I would like them to. I Honestly, the tolerance is great. Um, but they, they there's... Feels like uh, feels like it needs a little bit of elbow grease and work. So I'm actually going to take it apart. I'm going to use a little steel wool on each part. I'm going to throw in a little. Uh, oh, actually, what is the right stuff to use for that? It would actually be whey oil. I think. So let me get my zero steel wool. And um, I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to uh, keep it all so that each piece goes where it should. On the, um, on the real, on the original vices, there were actually set screws in the center of each of these jaws. Um, And uh, that set screw was uh, coupled to a corresponding slot in the bottom of each one of the receiving jaws. And thus, oh, a little galling there. It's a little galling, don't you think? Um, These are nicely deburred parts. I'm just letting my hands touch every part of this part. Okay, let's get a little whey oil on here. That's unimportant. Oh, 
Okay, so now All this to burn is really nice. There's not a lot of stuff catching up. So one thing I may do is I may actually uh, machine a V in the middle of these final jaws um, to create just a little bit more of a landing surface. Oh, that's nice. There's definitely was some grit in the oil this was packed in. So it's nice to remove it. I may end up getting a little lapping compound in there. Oh, such gorgeous things. They actually seem to be interchangeable parts, which is remarkable. Um, let's just see if this grabs them a little bit better. Yeah, see this gets stuck in places like this. And I think that if I, uh, I think there's, I think I can do some things to make this even better. But dude, dude, freaking fractal vice. Fractal vice, fractal vice. Um, fractal vice in the house. We are going to, uh, there'll be, they'll, there will be, there will be some projects making this even better, making this thing work for me. Uh, I may end up getting some lapping compound into these mating surfaces to kind of get them to, to mate together a little better. I can just feel a little, yeah. It's, okay. We have a, um, oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, hold on. This is so freaking exciting. This is just such a rare piece of kit. It's, uh, I can't believe someone made it. I can't believe one can purchase this commercially right now. Uh, we'll include a link to where I got it and we'll see if they still have it. Um, yeah, needs a little bit of, yeah, 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 all right. Just needs some love there to make it, to make it a little smoother, but fuck, it's all there. These just lift right off and go right back on. It's a really nicely made thing. Wow. It's worth just mentioning that the U.S. has a really, America right now, the United States, has a really complicated relationship with China. All right. Politically, absolutely. So economically, totally. Um, and also in the mythology of like China, right? The idea of like, you know, there are YouTube channels that call a whole class of tools made of Chineseium and the idea is that they're like, you know, lesser because they're made in China. Uh, and, you know, some of that is, some of the, some of the uh, 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 stereotypes about products coming out of China are based on portions of reality and some are not. 
what I see here feels fundamentally like interesting to me because I don't, someone on Alibaba, someone has a factory on Alibaba where they make machine tool kinds of equipment things. And somebody in that factory was like, mm, hey boss, I saw this thing called a fractal vice. I think I could program the CNC and make, make one of these out of steel. What do you think? Boss was like, great idea, go do it. Like this only exists because of a, of a mind. And that's perhaps what I wanna bring up here is that in all of the stereotyping we can do in the US, and we do a lot of it about Chinese products, the makers of those products are faceless to us. We're not engaging with them as a, as a thought exercise. But when I see this thing, I am engaged with somebody who decided to execute this incredible thing. That's all. It's, yeah, there's remarkable stuff going on over there. And, uh, yeah. There, there will be more to do with the fractal vice, but for right now, we're just going to enjoy it. It's just such a beautiful thing. Oh, and it pivots really nicely. You want it to pivot because you want to be able to lock it. You want to be able to um, lock something down and then choose your angle of attack on the mill. Um, and it's a big pain in the butt to load this up on a, uh, like a um, rotary table if it's unnecessary. So fractal vices always have a turning aspect to them. Um, and like I said, there will be other videos where I take this thing all the way apart and get some advice from the comments for this video. Give me some advice about making these mating surfaces really nice and smooth and the, my best practices for achieving that. Cause I want to get this so that it all just like, uh, I do think I want to, and I'm going to go look up my reference material on this vice. I do think I'm going to adjust the actual mating surfaces of these little front jaws. Not sure quite how just yet, but I do I have thoughts. Um, what a freaking thrill. What a thrill this is to have this. <laughs> it really was in transit today and I was following it all day long to get to the, uh, the tested mailbox. All right, you, a little bit. No, now you move. All right. Uh, I'm curious about your best practices, uh, and machinists in the comments about the best practices for getting these mating surfaces to fit with each other. I'm going to shoot some B-roll of this uh, magnificent beast. And uh, thank you guys for joining me for this. This is incredible. I feel like this tells me, <sighs> there's like, I don't know. I just, I, like I said before, I sense a real creative mind behind the impetus to make this, not just naked commerce and how to make it cheap. This is somebody wanted to see this extent in the world and I am better for it. And I want to thank you, person who executed this project. I'm delighted to own a piece of your work. Um, yeah, thanks you guys for joining me. I know this is a really quick show and tell, but I had to show it to you. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.